Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shad Bashim, Merkar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, great millstone, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And shout out to the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And I say uh, shalom to y'all out there. And this is a quick sit down lesson on this uh, March 18, 2022. And on this uh, Friday morning around 1 uh, 122 a.m. in the morning time. And the title of this quick sit down lesson is going to be. Um, I will make a man more precious than fine gold. And this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 13, verse 12. And it reads, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even, even a man than the golden wedge of orphan. Right, because, you know, in the times that we are coming in, you know, the Israelite man, especially, you know, the man of Israel, the elect man of Israel, you know, Lord willing, we be those men, you know, hey, in that day, you know, especially in the time of Jacob's trouble, when everything goes, goes crazy and, and everything's, you know, go downhill, you know, when society fully goes downhill and when society falls break down in that, in that time of trouble, hey, the Israelite man that's in this truth. You know, the, the great men, the millstone, you know, starting with the elders, apostles, and the uh, Akim, and the elders, and the deacons, and the bishops, and the brotherhood, you know, that's in this truth. And the speckled bird Israelites as well, too. You know, through the four coins of the globe, you know, can hold on dearly to this truth of ours, you know. This uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding should be just the ability of thy time, you know. Especially in the times that we are heading in, once this society full, fully collapses, once this society uh, fully breaks down, and when that time of Jacob's trouble come, hey, like the scripture says, my servants shall eat, you know, the servants of Yahweh Shai, you know, because we are the mouthpieces of Yahweh Shai. We are ambassadors and we are the soldiers of uh, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, you know. And then in that day, hey, uh, Israelite man is going to be more precious than fine gold. You know, people are going to be searching for the men of the Lord. You know, they're going to be wanting the answers, you know. Because uh, when that famine hit, when that jack of trouble hit, the prophets of the men of the Lord go be off the be, go be off the streets. And like scripture says, uh, the Israelite man is going to be a hiding place, a safe hiding place in that day. You know, I roughly paraphrase, you know. And this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 4, verse 1. And it reads through the Holy Scriptures. And in that day, seven women should take hold of one man, saying, We should eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. And let us be called by thy name and take away our reproach. All right, because you know, hey, just like I brought out Isaiah 13 and 12, you know, the Israelite man is going to be more precious than fine gold, you know. Seven women should take hold to one Israelite man, you know. And he's even of our, our own women of our own nation. is going to cleave on to Jake, you know. The uh, Israelite man, that's in the truth. Because, you know, the Israelite man going to have that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Especially when he hold on dearly to this truth of ours, you know. This beautiful, precious uh, truth of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, you know, was given to us, you know, and still to this day, you know, if we can hold on to that, amen, it is right, man, it's going to be uh, precious and fine gold in that day, you know, because uh, these women going to be trying to cleave on to the Israelite man, you know. Especially when uh, stuff hit the fan, when, uh, stuff hits the fan, you know, and once it get real serious out here, you know, when there's no no more food, you know, you know, people are gonna go out here all crazy, and that and that time of trouble come, and the time of uh, Jacob's trouble come, you know, it's gonna be every person for themselves, you know, it's gonna be all out, uh, food shortage clashes. Race for all types of things, many different things, you know. 
entertainment job because people are going to be trying to uh, where their next meal is going to be in that time of trouble, you know. Cannabis is going to be back in full effect in the day of Jacob's trouble. Because, you know, like scripture says, I'm my servant shall eat, you know. You know, and that's the man of the Lord, you know, the man of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. Especially the great man of Millstone, you know, we're going to eat in that day, you know. As long as we uh, hold on uh, to this truth, as long as we continue to uh, be faithful in truth with meekness, humbleness, and sincerity, you know. Continue to do the will of the work of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. And that's the uh, man of great Millstone, you know. As long as we uh, hold on to maintain that, you know, our integrity, you know, and learn that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding and the stability of thy times, you know, being uh, sober-minded, you know, spiritually and mentally, you know, being mentally prepared for these things and what once Jacob's trouble come, you know, be able to maintain our flesh, don't let our uh, flesh over control us. You know, the lust of flesh and stuff like that for many examples. You know, fight fight the flesh. You know, fight the evil spirits and stuff like that. We can be able to uh, find maneuvers to overcome that, you know. Even though it's going to be a test, you know, because, you know, this is a balance. You know, being in this truth, you know. As long as we have that, uh, continue to have that strong faith. And believe in Yahweh Hashem El Shai, that he is going to continually have our back no matter what the situation is going to be. You know, because in that book of Isaiah 13 and 12, you know, he's going to make a man more precious than fine gold, you know. And these uh, women going to be cleaving on to, to Jacob, you know, the Israelite man, the so called Negro, Latino, and Native American man, and the speck word Israelite as well, too. Because, you know, in that day, in the day of Jacob's trouble, when all hell breaks out in this society, when this society collapses, you know, hey, uh, Israelite man of great millstone, he's going to be uh, more precious than buying gold in that day, you know. And yeah, how about Shemel Shai is definitely going to have it ordained to happen that way, and it's going to be that way. When that day of trouble comes, when that day of uh, for Jacob's trouble, when it's fully implemented, you know, when it's gonna be on full display in that day of trouble, of uh, Jacob's trouble that's coming up very soon. We are in the uh, stages and the process and the footsteps of Jacob's trouble is coming very soon, and that's why uh, Israelite man is gonna be uh, more precious than fine gold in that day. You know, and seven women should take on to one man. You know, seven women of the seven women might be uh, women of our nation. And these other Gentile women as well, too, of these other nations are going to cleave on to the Israelite man, which is the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American man, the speckled bird Israelite man, too. That's in this truth, you know. So with that, you know, that's all I wanted to bring out for this uh, quick sit-down lesson on this uh, March the 18th, 2022, and on this uh, Friday morning at 1.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. So yeah, you know, in the last days that we're, com that we're coming into, when that uh, Jake was trouble, be uh, fully implemented, when it be on full display, when that day comes, hey, Yahweh Bashim El Shai is going to make a man more precious than fine gold in that day, you know. And so with that, like I mentioned again, I hope this lesson was edifying through the spirit, power, rest, and mercy of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Makar Kadash, double honors to the elders, apostles, the great millstone, Christian's word, truthfully and sincerely. Shout out to the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird, Christian's word, truthfully and sincerely. And shout out to the Akim scattered through the four corners of the globe, Christian's word, truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say, shout out.